That was the end of section 7. Let's revise together the key points to remember for the exam. Remember, security is considered as the top priority for AWS, AWS calls it job zero, however, in the cloud, the security of the workloads running there is a shared responsibility. Differentiate between the security of the cloud and the security in the cloud. Remember which part of the model belongs to whom, the customer or AWS. IAM was one of the main security services that we explored in the training. Remember that the IAM root user is the account owner. You create IAM users and groups and map to them their corresponding IAM policies. Roles are another kind of identity that can be used to grant you temporary credentials. You can double up your layers of protection by using MFA. Also, remember the benefits of using AWS organizations and how it allows you to consolidate multiple AWS accounts and have better control over their policies. We discussed three different application security services. WAF is a firewall for your web applications, and with the help of web access control lists, you can protect your web servers and endpoints. Shield a service used to protect you against distributed denial of services attacks. And finally, Inspector allows you to run automated assessments and vulnerability scans on your application servers. KMS was the main service associated with cryptography, encryption, and decryption keys. While Amazon Guard Duty was an intelligent threat detection service that monitors logs of what is happening and flowing through your accounts to spot threats. And finally, Artifact, through which you can download compliance reports from AWS and also sign online agreements with AWS.